Next up is the Devil and Father Amorth. Uh, unfortunately, when I grabbed this trailer, I got to see a little blurb on the on the description of it. Uh, so they're a little bit ruined that uh, it's William Friedkin, director of The Exorcist. Which is really good. Stating that this is an actual exorcist that he went on. So Stop. I feel the hatred coming. Nope. Biting my tongue. Stop. Let's find out why. At the time I directed the film, The Exorcist, I had never seen the real thing. But on May 1st, 2016, Father Gabriella Amort, the Vatican exorcist, oh, Amort, invited sorry. me to witness an actual exorcism. I had no idea what to expect. The more you open yourself to thinking about this stuff, and you start feeling about this stuff, the more room you allow for the supernatural power of evil to come in. If we don't understand it, that doesn't mean it doesn't exist. There's a dimension to this world that is strange and beyond our capacity to control. Can I know how to treat it? No. So something is happening to her, it's clear. But maybe she puts into it the religious context in which she grew up. Because they believe, obviously, they know what's wrong with her. She's possessed by the devil. I think that's a very dangerous thing, getting in close quarters with the devil. People like Father Amorth maybe can do that. I would never dare do it. This is not fiction. <laughs> it's different from all the movies. And I was there to film it. <laughs> so I feel like they're hiding a lot of that, a lot of the good stuff um, in the trailer i th actually think it's going to be pretty good pretty interesting really um, yeah do you know so there are, i i i know there's probably some exorcisms that just seem like it's just completely fake you know like all of them not all of them mm -hmm. um but there i've heard of some that are actually real and mm -hmm. uh people have gone through a lot of physical trauma during it um <laughs> and it doesn't seem like it's a mental illness it actually seems <sighs> like something more Ah, no. That. But I feel like um, they sh just hid a lot of really good things in this trailer, and it's just going to be, it's going to be really good. I'm, okay. I'm actually interested in seeing it. All right, so three things, I think, if I can recall these. Uh, one, you brought up the mental illness, and of course, that's what it is, but... I like the fact that in this trailer, they did show like the brain scan, so it seemed to be that there was at least some counter argument going to be presented. So I appreciate that. Insulted by the tagline beyond science, because as we all know, there is nothing beyond science. But the fact that they even threw that out there has some little hope for, for me. Two, um, what you said about them holding it back. There's, there, there is two possibilities. One, it's a trailer, right? So you don't want to give it all away. And two, my opinion, there's nothing to show. Shut up. So that's why they didn't hold it back. Shut up. Uh, and the third thing is, you said you were looking forward to seeing it, and I am as well. I am as well. I, I am obviously non-believer skeptic, uh, but... At the heart of every non-believer skeptic that has a curiosity streak, which I do, you have to say that I would like to be proven wrong. I really would. If there was ever any proof of something beyond this life. Something beyond science? Well, if you would like something <laughs> beyond science, it would radically alter the entire structure of our society it would change everything and would provide a different perspective on what you do with your life, how you live with your life, everything else. So I would like to have something like that. I don't think that this new movie is necessarily going to present that, but perhaps a piece, perhaps it will open some avenue of exploration, perhaps even it will be a talking point or discussion. So 
Yes, uh, did totally butcher the pronunciation on Amor, Amor, T-H, it's Amor, but Amor, okay, fine, whatever. Either way, we are both looking forward to watching William Friedkin's next project. So the battle lines are drawn. We got the skeptics and the believers. And the believers. So, what do you guys? Let us know in the comment section below. I want that sucker to blow up. I want to hear both sides. I want to get something going. We don't even have to keep it civil, for Christ's sakes. Either way, let us know, subscribe to the channel, and like the video.